and welcome to this training on UiPath with UX. My name is Irene Boutier, I'm a UiPath Most Valuable Professional and the founder of My Little Pot. Today I want to show you how you can easily build yourself your own little pot. We are going to work on Gmail. I think we all receive too many emails and some of those emails are very easy to process. So what I would like to do is to give those emails to the bot so that I can spend more time on the most important emails. All right, then let's do it. So if you look at my inbox, you can see that I receive every day invoices. And when I receive an invoice, I have two things to do. First, I need to send a reply to the sender. And second, I need to save the invoice here, the attachment, and to put it in a drive. So these are very repetitive tasks, very boring to perform. So I would like to give them to the bot. So here I'm on UiPath Studio X, and this is where I'm going to build my bot. I'm going to tell the bot exactly what it has to do. So basically my bot has to go to my Gmail. So I'm going to use a Gmail activity here and I'm going to select my Gmail account, which is the account uh, that the bot is going to connect to. So here I can select my own account. It could also work for a generic email account. When you do that, what you can see is that all of the mail related activities are now displayed. And these are pre-built activities that I will be able to use when I build my bot. So I want to save him attachment. I have an activity that does that. I want to reply to the email as well. And this is the activity that I'm going to use. But I'm going to do that for each email that is about an invoice. So first I need to use a for each email activity. And in this activity, I will be able to create the filters so that my bot is always going to be able to find my invoices only and not the other emails. So if I look at my invoice email, I can see that I always have an attachment. So I can tell my bot that it's going to go first in my inbox because this is where my invoices are. And second, that these invoices always have attachments. So those emails always have an attachment. So I can select this option here. I can also add other filters. If I want to be sure that my bot is going to retrieve only my emails about invoices, what I can do is to use the sender email as a condition as well. So here I'm going to tell the bot that the sender always that the invoices are always coming from the sender. And very often what you have is a generic email account. You have something like accounting at name of the company.com. So you can use this as a condition uh, to find uh, the right email in your inbox. I could also add a second condition. This time I could use the information that I get in the subject. And what you can see is that the invoices are always the same pattern. They are always starting with invoice in the subject. So this is also something I can use to be sure that my bot is going to be able to find the invoices only. So now I have three conditions. I'm going to tell my bot to go to inbox and then to retrieve only the emails that have attachments that are coming from me and that the subject start with invoice. With those three conditions, I'm pretty confident that my bot is only going to retrieve those two, these two emails here that are about invoices. So now I can use the uh, pre-built activities. So I have a reply to email activity here that I can use there. Um, I don't have a lot of things to do here because I don't want to add other recipients, no one copy. So I just need to write the reply that my bot is going to send. So here I can write a text message and this is the reply that the bot is going to send. So it's going to write, for example, hello, my bot is taking care of it because I'm very happy to have my own little bot. So this is the reply that the bot is going to send for every invoice it finds. I have to add the option to leave it as a draft. Uh, here I want my bot to send it directly. So I'm going to untick this box. And also what I need to do is to save the attachments. So now I'm using 
a SEBI menu attachment activity. And here I just need to indicate the folder where I want my bot to save the attachments. And here what I can do is to directly find my drive and there I can select my invoices folder where I want my bot to save the attachments. So this is how I can tell my bot to go to this drive and to save the attachments there. So now my bot is already done. Uh, I can click on the run button so that it can run and we can check the results. So what I'm going to expect is to have two replies from the bot because I have two invoices here in my inbox. So the bot is going to reply to the sender, which was me in that case. So I could get, I should get uh, the replies. And also I have my drive folder here where the bot is supposed to uh, save the attachments as well. So I'm going to check that my bot is running. I'm going to uh, be able to see it. Uh, I will get here a green rectangle, uh, which shows that the bot is running. And you can imagine that you have a lot of use cases that are very similar to this one. If you're receiving like reports regularly, POs, you can build a bot that is going to facilitate your life. The only difference is that you're going to use different features uh, to find uh, the right emails. So now my bot is, is done. Uh, it was successful. So if I go to my inbox, I can see the reply from my bot with the message that we wrote together. My bot is taking care of it. And if I go to my drive, I can find the two attachments there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, that it gave you a lot of ideas about automations that you can create. And that was a repetitive task. So just remember that if you hate something, just automate it. Thank you and see you soon.